Hey folks, it's Ridgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. Uh, that will do for a minute. There's a load of mobs have spawned over there, but we don't get mobs spawning in our base right here at the moment, which is a good thing. So we go back inside and we need to do a couple of alterations. Where we want our mushrooms growing, we've got to have one block high like this. So we're going to put blocks all the way around like that. And we come back through blocks all the way around like that. And I won't worry about that bit over there. That's going to be slightly different. So then the other thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to bring blocks down like that so that they are one block high on here there uh, it does mean that our light from our redstone lamp over there is not quite going to be as useful unfortunately um that one down there but we've still got enough light in here that it's all right see the amount of light that that thing is emitting is still pretty impressive. So we do that, and then finally we put half slabs down on the floor like this. So I've still got my wonderful cave effect. Mobs can't spawn on the top of half slabs, and mobs can't spawn in a one block high area either. So in theory, once I've done this, nothing can spawn in here. I'm going to do it out. Actually, I'm not going to do it out to there. Uh, we're going to, yes I am, because this is, this is going to be done slightly differently. I'm going to bring that one out like that. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll do a, a slight change in there. The other thing I'm going to do a slight change with is I'm just going to move that one and I'm going to pick up that mushroom there and I'm going to put that one over in that corner right there. I've got one here on that line. I don't want to leave it on the end of the line. I want to put it in the middle of the line like that. So it's got a better chance of spreading. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to put another half slab down there and another half slab down there. And then I'm going to go over here. We're going to drop down some cobblestone and this is going... Oh, no, I don't want to be doing that. I want to remove those two. I want to put cobblestone down there, and then I'm going to cover this over like this. So that's got to stay at that height. Um, I, I can actually fill all of that in. Not that it really makes any... No, not that I really need to. I'm, I'm going to leave this open now. I'm going to see if it does work all right. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that it does so. Uh, and then we're going to fill that bit in like this thinking I might just leave it like that and I'm going to go I wanted to take this around a corner actually so I'm gonna to need to go there to put it around a corner that's gonna go up that way and then this is gonna go up here and I'm going to put the door well, I guess the door is gonna to have to go there so then I can come in around this way uh, so that light switch could be moved, and instead of being right there, let's take that one off a minute. Uh, let's move that half slab up there, and uh, I can put the light switch there, like that. Same spot, because of where the um, other materials are. And then I can come back over to here, we're going to just put this out, make that a little bit more solid. And then I want to come back this way a couple of blocks like this. There. I want to put that one into there. And this I want to change. I don't want that as a block there because I don't want anything spawning on that either. And the easiest way to do that is actually to remove... These two. I really should go and make myself a shovel. It would be a lot easier than what I've been doing lately. And I want to go back in here and I want to get two blocks of glass. One and two like that. And put you up in there. And then we go this way. We close you. 
mobs can't spawn on top of glass. So I put the two blocks of glass in there. Nothing can spawn in here at all. I've got glass right there, and then we want a door. I've got one, uh, two. The third one's down the bottom, so I don't have any more doors available, do I? So we will take the oak planks that I've got right there, and I'll go back in here, and I will make some doors there. And I will come over to this way, and I will plonk down a door right there. We go back in here, and we will get rid of the two doors. So then I can come in here and turn off the light. There's a lot of light coming in, but it should be a low enough level back here for the mushrooms to be okay. And it should be a low enough level for... Um, like everything else. So if I was to close that door right there, let me see what it's like after I cl closing the door doesn't make any difference. I don't know if the light level is going to be low enough there in the doorway to do it, but the light level back here is definitely going to be fine. Nothing can spawn in here. I do know that much. It's whether or not anything can spawn out this side. So if I drop down here, I can, if I do that, is that going to help? That might help a bit. It's lowering the light level. I mean, does an iron door make a difference? You can make an iron door. I think it's just six pieces of iron. I don't know if an iron door makes it darker on the inside or not. So if I just take another piece of iron there, and then one, two, three, because I'm going to want to make some shovels. I really should make a shovel any second now. Um, six pieces of iron like that. It gives you three iron doors. I don't want three iron doors. I, but by the look of it, it doesn't actually change the light levels on them. Put that one in there. Of course. The other thing with the iron door is that you've got to have a, um, a, a what do you call it? You, you've got to have a switch to be able to open the iron door. So if I put that one, that's, that makes no change to the light level. Okay, so that's, that's a bit of a waste. We'll use the iron door somewhere else. So I'm not going to use it in here. And no, I'm just going to leave that there. I'm, I'm going to leave that farm to slowly grow. There is one other option that we can do with the mushroom farming and that's basically you make it like a regular tree farm uh, except you put the mushroom outside and then when it's dark you put down a whole load of bone meal onto it and you spawn it into a giant mushroom and then you go and harvest it it is faster it is a quicker way of getting the mushrooms but it's sort of more labor intensive what we've done in there um Every few ticks, there is a chance that the mushrooms will spread a little tiny bit, and then they can, uh, you can then go along and you can harvest them. So yeah, it's it's sort of not a that there's no real effort to doing that particular type of farm that we've just got in there. Um, one thing I am gonna do though, is still sit. There's too much light in there for my taste. I, I want to get rid of some of that light. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I am going to go and run back in here right now. And I'm going to at least make one of these right in here. Because I want to be digging up some dirt. So let's do that. And then we'll go... Uh, I want some glass as well a minute. Um, so let's have some glass as well. And then we'll go into here... And we will dig out, oops, I don't want to do that, dig out this and I'll bring it back over to here. I'm going to bring it to that line right there. And this is, again, I'm going to do this with cobblestone. I may end up changing the whole cobblestone idea a bit later on, but right now I kind of like it. I, I actually kind of like having the cobblestone in here. So we'll put glass down there so nothing can spawn on that. And then we go in here and we've, we've got that bit in there. And that means then I can go and put down... Let's eat a steak a minute. I can go in here and plonk down just a couple of extra bits in there like that. And you... 
in there like that and one more block out like that and then I'll put the door down here. So there's a lot more wiggly and wavy and, and so on. And what I'm hoping with that is that the light all the way back, it's, it's darker in here now. See, mushrooms actually emit a very small amount of light themselves. That should be enough. It takes a while for them to start growing. And then we've got a bit of, we've got a light switch in here that we can turn on. Um, yeah, there's our cave. I'm hoping that's going to work nicely. We'll see. We will see how well that works. I don't know yet. It may not work at all. I am wondering if I could go in there and remove the bottom layer of blocks and put trapdoors on there instead. If I was to put open trapdoors instead of these blocks, I'd be able to see in here a little bit better, but I'm not too concerned right now. So anyway, that's that bit done. There's a mushroom farm in there. It's only a small one. Um, we can go and harvest big mushrooms. That does take longer. I don't really want to do that right now. So I've got a whole load of dirt in here. I want to just ditch that rotten flesh, ditch those doors. I've got some glass down here. I'm actually going to remove that one there. I'm going to open this one. I'm going to take all of the XP that has been accumulating in there. I had no idea that that was even a thing. Um, it's really cool that that's a thing. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to go over here. I don't have any more dirt there to take at the minute, but I got a load of cobblestone here. Why can't I? Oh, I've got no space to go and ditch the cobblestone. That's why it won't um, jump out. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to get rid of the half slabs. And I'll get rid of that andesite. And I want to get rid of that glass in here. Right. And then we'll leave the rest of it. So let's go and start putting down our uh, stuff up over this way. Putting down all of that dirt. Let's just check in here a minute. 11 chickens in there. I'm not going to take them with me. Uh, we're going to put down a whole load of dirt out this side. Right. Things happened. Things were done. I recorded... Uh, well, it only took me about half an hour to do this. I leveled all of this out and recorded it, and then the game crashed, and this was... Yeah, it it, it saved this, at least, but um, the, the, the stuff... Yeah, the, the recording was lost because the game crashed. It turns out that Minecraft absolutely does not like running alongside Discord, which I already knew about, and I disabled Discord, but also... NVIDIA's GeForce experience, it does not like that at all, not even a little tiny bit, and so I, uh, well I thought to start with that I was actually alright with it because I disabled it um, at the beginning of the recording and then I thought it would be alright, but it turns out that Minecraft GeForce experience does actually come back again. Like, it, it, it was restarting itself. And I don't know why. I've never seen that before. I didn't realize that it was a thing. And, um, yeah, it, it caused the game to crash again, which caused me to lose my recording. Um, and, and, yeah. So I decided not to go and do this again. Come on. Come here. Having this diamond armor is fantastic. That's absolutely brilliant. Those things terrify me. They really do. They absolutely terrify me, those things do. Um, but yeah, I decided not to do it again because, quite frankly, it wasn't all that entertaining doing this. And I didn't really want to do it again. And I figured, you well, uh, you'd probably be all right not seeing that. Um, so I've, I've, I've started again. Let's see if we can get that enderman over there. He's got a grass block on him. Let's see if we can get him to come up here. He might. There he is. Uh, oh, I've, I've got less health this time. No, 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 no. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Right, we, we, we really need to eat now. Um. So anyway, yeah, so the bad things happened. My game crashed and I have restarted it now. I've, I've done... 
I've gotten rid of GeForce Experience. I've closed down Discord on my computer. And for those of you who want to know, um, I've also completely reinstalled Minecraft and then reinstalled um, Curse Forge. Although I don't actually have any mods active on Forge at the moment, so I've just kind of got it running in the background. I'm hoping that this will be enough to cure things. We've got a nice big area up here ready to go and get some fences and do some stuff with there. And I've got one last little bit, which is with this diamond axe. And I'm going to do that in a second. Um, I've also gone to Vanilla Tweaks. This is something that was suggested by someone on Discord. A Canadian someone, was it? Honestly, can't remember who it was. But anyway, he, he suggested it on Discord. And it's a really, really good idea. I like the idea. Um, there's there's a, a, a thing called Vanilla Tweaks. And you don't need Curse Forge or anything like that. Vanilla Tweaks just adds stuff into the game. And it's really, really good. It's absolutely brilliant the way it adds stuff into the game. Um, and so I've tried one of them. I got one Vanilla Tweak at the moment. And I'm going to show it to you in a minute. But before I do that, because I completely reloaded Minecraft, I don't have the view distance I had. And I like having a longer view distance. So I'm going to just see if I can go and change that over a minute. Right. I've got a much longer view distance. And I've changed the lighting to bright rather than moody. So I'm hoping that you will all be able to see it a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I went all the way up to bright on there. Right, I think that's about it. The other thing that I did was, this was a suggestion by uh, someone on one of the videos. Remove the lava blade. Take the lava blade out and put in a block of stone instead. Um... That way, like, because I tried the water so that the chickens would drown, and that didn't work very well, did it? It's like, they, they were just floating on top, and it just wasn't happening. That's not supposed to be happening. They're supposed to spawn in there on top of that block, and then they get suffocated by that one when they turn to adults. It has been working up until now. You can see we've got 46 raw chicken in there. But they're not, they're supposed to stand on top of that block like they have been previously. So I don't know why they're not doing it at the moment. They, it was working. They were doing it okay. Let's just wait and see. It really doesn't take long. We got a lot of chickens in there now. So it doesn't take long for them to um, lay eggs and chuck another one in here. There he's. Why aren't you working properly? This is, this is all wrong. Baby chickens don't drop anything. It, it has been working fine. It's, it's, I've not had any problem with it. So I don't know why it suddenly decided to stop working now. That's really weird. And I had the game working in... Yeah, I, I, okay, you know, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to try and change that round a little bit. We're going to go in here a second. And, I mean, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get our diamonds out. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in here. Uh, I've got impaling. I've got efficiency one on there. And I've got efficiency one on this diamond axe as well. So if I join those together, I should get efficiency two, in theory. So I don't need any... Actually, I don't know if I do. I, no, I don't think I need Lapis Lazuli for this to join those two together. I've got no materials at the moment. Right, anyway, on Vanilla Tweaks, let me just go in here and we'll see if we can join these two together. So I put you in there and I put you in there. Enchantment Corsac gets me efficiency two on that Diamond Axe, which is brilliant. And that's the same as then that one. Enchantment cost two for that. And then I put you back in there. Enchantment cost five to repair that. One, two, three. Wait, what? One, two, three. If if I just do it like that. Actually, you know what? No, let's let's just chuck it right in so it's fully repaired all the way up like that, and that'll be fine. Um I've um 
been looking through the, the vanilla tweaks for this thing with the axe and oh there was one other thing that I wanted to get in here and there's something that I seen in there that I thought was really really cool that might work let's put let's have three blocks of glass a minute really really awesome and I thought you know this might just work for us now if I go here. There should be a way to extract the... Because that's all empty now. There should be a way to get the XP out of there. I think I do actually have to remove this one to do it. And then if I just go in here like this and I'll get all of the XP out of here just by cooking one item. So you can't cook rotten flesh. But there is actually on this vanilla tweaks thing... And this is what I was doing. Like I, I got attacked by a few Endermen, and I got a golden helmet from a zombie. Um, so I have had a few things happen to me. I'm going to put a bit of cobblestone in there. I'm going to let that cook. And we get the XP for all of the glass as well. Um, this vanilla tweaks thing. There's loads of vanilla tweaks. Uh, there's quite a few... There we go. A whole load of them. There's quite a few... Um... Just like small tweaks for lots and lots of different... Bits and pieces everywhere. That's andesite. I think I've... Oh, I do have a part stack there. Um, there's uh, quite a few, like, visual tweaks. Unfortunately, I suspect that those visual tweaks won't be compatible with this. So it's like, with breaking stuff, if I go to break cobblestone right here, like that, you know, it sort of splinters across the middle, you can get one where it changes the appearance of stuff being broken so that it uh like disintegrates around the edge but the visual on that i think will be different so it'll use a different model which means that it won't be compatible with our resource pack that we've got um which i don't particularly want now you in here we still got 46 i don't know why this is suddenly changed and is no longer putting the chickens in right and it's, it's doing that to them it wasn't doing that before when i first installed this thing and I'm wondering if it's something to do with the fact that I had it on just the base Minecraft for a bit. And then I changed it over again. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a block of... Just try it with a block of glass in there instead. And see if that will do it. Whether that will be sufficient or not. I mean, the chicken might end up sort of coming out to the side. Lava will work, but we're losing far too many chickens on the whole lava thing. So now I just need to wait for this one to come out. It was working, okay? It was working, and it was working really well. And, and you can see that it was working. We've got all these raw chickens in here, right? It was absolutely working perfectly. And now, for some reason, it's killing the chickens when they come out. They're getting, up on, getting on top of that block right there, and they're just a little bit too high into the stone. But it seems to work with the glass one. Now, I, hopefully, that will continue to work. Another one there. All right. Maybe it will. Maybe that will just continue to go and do it. So anyway, these vanilla tweaks... There's, there's some very cool tweaks in this vanilla tweaks, and one of them in particular caught my eye. And that particular vanilla tweak is turning, uh, what do you call, uh, zombie flesh, rotten flesh. It turns rotten flesh into leather. You go, I think you just smelt it and it, you, you turn it into leather. And I thought that's a really, really cool one. That might be something that we could use in here. I'm not going to add it in yet. I want to wait and get your opinions on that. You may think that's a little bit too much. But this one here, I absolutely love. Everything. Oh, I know that was a bit loud, wasn't it? Maybe we need to turn down the block. <laughs> that is quite loud. But you cut the bottom branch and it takes everything out it removes all of it it removes all of the leaves everything so let's just go back to our options and we'll go to music and sounds and we'll turn our blocks down to 25 percent and we'll see what that does done okay and back to our game and let's try this again and see what happens it's still really loud why you let let's let's try that again 
All right. Let's try that again. Right, that's a little bit quieter. That's, that's a little bit better. We'll, we'll stick with that. I know it's still noisy, but I love this. It actually removes all of the leaves and everything, but it also gives the axe the durability as if all of the leaves had sort of been, I don't know about the leaves, but certainly all of the wood, or it's supposed to. It's an experimental one, which means that, according to Vanilla Tweaks, it may not be updated in the future, so you may not get any more versions of it. But right now, it works. It, it, it's absolutely fine. And when you've got massive, great big trees like that, I can, instead of having to spend ages mining it, I can just do that. Which I adore. I love that. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Now, I admit that may be... Some of you may consider it to be a little bit cheaty. Um, get into the comment section and tell me what you think. Personally, I really like it. Because, like, the gathering of timber is a time-consuming thing. And it's not particularly entertaining to go and watch. I get the distinct impression that most of you would rather watch me build stuff than go and harvest resources. So getting a few little mod tweaks like this one absolutely fit perfectly with that kind of mantra where we focus on building things instead of all being about the, the um, harvesting of resources. Which I think would be a lot better if we can keep doing things like that. That would be brilliant. But I want to keep killing Enderman because I want to get the eyes. And now that I've got diamond armor, I'm actually able to fight them reasonably successfully. Uh, there's a few other... So I, with this vanilla tweaks, there's, there's quite a few um, changes to the appearances of blocks, which I'm not going to use. I'm just going to get some resource packs. And I'm more than happy to change the resource packs that I've got right now and upgrade them and change them around. Was I looking for? I've got three of those. I uh, don't know what I was looking for. So I'm I'm more than happy to go. And, there's another resource pack tweak that you can have where creepers, when they explode, they don't damage the blocks. Which I kind of thought, no, we don't want to do that. That's you know, even though it's inconvenient. It's the whole point of the game. That's why I have torches everywhere to stop creepers from spawning. I don't mind about the other mobs. It's the creepers. The endermen, however, stopping them from picking up blocks and moving them around. There is a, one of the vanilla tweaks does that, which I thought was actually a pretty cool idea. I like the idea of not having endermen stealing all of our blocks and moving them around. I thought that could be quite a cool thing to have. Um... So that one is definitely a possibility for the future. And there's a few other little quality of life improvements with this vanilla tweaks that I thought looked really good. Um, as far as resource packs are concerned, if you've got suggestions for resource packs that you'd like to see me use, obviously get in the comment section and let me know what you want me to use. What resource packs you want to see in here. The one that I'm... The, the one that I've looked at that I sort of think would be the most useful to us, I think, would be the one that drops the zombie flesh. Uh, not drops it, uh, turns it into leather. If we can have the zombie flesh that's dropped and turn it into leather, I think that would be an absolutely wonderful mod to go and have. Right, so far, the glass seems to be working. It might just be that it didn't work previously because... Um, I did play the game on vanilla without any mods at all when I was doing the last round of recording because it kept crashing um, on the latest Minecraft, which is 1.16.5. And now I've got CurseForge again. Uh... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. If you have time, do please consider checking out the links in the description down below. There is one for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers, including but not limited to Minecraft and Farming Simulator. And there is also Fanatical, who sell vast quantities of computer games at very reasonable prices. There is also a discount code in the description alongside the link. If you've enjoyed this video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. 
And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.